Today we're going to show you how to install a metal purse clasp onto the KISS clasp sewing box, which is a kit available from Zaka Workshop. This clasp installation is a little different from some of the other ones because we're installing it onto a three-dimensional stitched box. So there's a little more finessing that you have to do to install the clasp. All right, let's get started. Here's what you need to install the clasp. First, you'll need a clasp, which actually comes with the kit, paper twine, which also is used for installing the clasp, which comes with the kit, a screwdriver, a pair of scissors, glue, and pliers. First, you're going to take the paper string and you're gonna cut it into six pieces four pieces that are the width of the clasp, and then two pieces that will match the length of the clasp. Next, we're going to apply glue to one half of the clasp. You'll take the glue with a chopstick, is what I'm using here, and there's a channel that you will just coat all along the edges and then you'll let it sit for two or three minutes to get tacky. Then we'll install it. Now we're gonna install the side of the clasp with the glue that's been applied onto the bottom half of the box. You're going to want the hinges facing the top of the box and then the corners of the clasp to match the corners, the two front corners of the box. Note that there's a little bit of a V shape in how you've stitched the box and that will allow you to have a more successful secure installation of the clasp. Okay so we're going to get started with putting the clasp on. It's good to start at the center working the fabric in and then moving out to the edges just to get just to kind of position them so that they're in kind of run your fingers along kind of pulling up the fabric and then from the outside you use a screwdriver this is what the screwdriver is for to just cinch up the fabric so you start from the middle and then work your way out to each corner. Next, we'll go for a side. And the corners might slip out, that's okay. But just do what you did before and start with the middle it's definitely it's, it's finicky for sure but it works just fine Again, the corner might slip out, but that's okay. And then realign. Make sure your fabric's kind of in the middle. And then cinch it up. So now note, we just did this, but we didn't use the paper string yet, so that's what we're going to do next. So now that we've got the fabric initially put in the box, we're going to really reinforce it by then applying the string. Now we're going to reinforce the clasp with the paper twine. 
so that it has a really good um, it's really well cinched in there and it this will really help the fit work so you're going to use a screwdriver for this as well you'll use the long piece for the top as we're doing that here and then you'll continue to use the two smaller pieces for each side let it sit for about 10 minutes and then you can go to the other side of the clasp and finish the top next we're going to install the top of the clasp onto the top of the box and I promise you this side is easier okay so like we did with the first side you're going to kind of want to start in the center with your fabric you know over the the bobble of the clasp and just work the fabric in to the sides and the top and then you can reinforce it and really get it up there a little better with the screwdriver and after this we'll install the paper twine which will really secure the bag to the um, to the clasp so we're going to repeat what we did on the first half of the clasp with the paper twine so starting in the middle center the twine with the screwdriver and just cinch the twine up into the channel and this lifts the fabric up it's like a little elastic that just tightens the fit so that the clasp will be well secured to the box. And after you do the top, do the two sides, and then let it sit for five or 10 minutes before our final step. So our final step is to reinforce each of the four corners of the box right by the hinges. So how you do that is you're going to use pliers. I use a little piece of felt just to not scratch the clasp and you're gonna squeeze, you'll feel it squeeze. And you're gonna do that on each of the four corners. That will really reinforce the fit and secure it. So that's pretty much it. The clasp has been installed. You might see a little bit of glue on the outside of the clasp. You can just remove that with some paper towel by rubbing it, maybe a tiny bit of Windex, and you're ready to enjoy your Kiss Clasp sewing box. Thanks for watching.